And uh, now let's discuss about the quadrilaterals. What exactly is a quadrilateral? Actually, a quadrilateral in a four sided figure. In a shape, you know, four sides. The weight quad means four, as you can see one, two, three, four. And then another thing that is very important is uh, quadrilateral score, the sum of the interior angles add up to 360 degrees. The angles are the same as the So now let's discuss these quadrilaterals based on their types. More than square. Are level let the properties just the square. All sides are equal. Ma side of fela are the square are And then another thing or opposite sides are parallel. Ma side of leva na of fela are parallel. And then that's about something important about parallel lines in Robojawari if they have equal gradients. Relaudi gradient dialekan, ja the parallel lines. And then again, all corner angles equal to 90 degrees. So the angles ka fela ja square, did 90 degrees. And then again, diagonals bisect each other. Diagonals are normally like uh, these lines on this corner adhere to the opposite of that corner. Let's say this is A, B, C, and D. So line AC is a diagonal and then also line BD is a diagonal. So in addition, diagonals bisect each other and are equal. So if this is point E, this EC is AE because we say diagonals bisect. Diagonals bisect are cut in half. So this line here BD is cut AC in half and then the same as this one here AC is cut BD in half. So from here and here walikan. So ED elikanali E B and then also A E elikanali E C because diagonals are bisect and are equal. In addition from these diagonals core diagonals are bisect at ninety degrees. Mod intersect our one the former angle ninety degrees. So something very special about a diagonals bisect each other quarry. This point give me point wa B D and A C. So when we say diagonals bisect each other, Arnorella or again they share the same midpoint. So that is something very important. And then another thing or diagonals bisect corner angles. So Arela or this angle and this angle dialekan because that's why when we say something bisect something it in half so this diagonal it this angle in half so this angle this angle so the same here this one this one because diagonals bisect corner angles so the same as this one and this one the same as this one and this one. So this angle and this angle are equal. And then because the Razabauri, these corner angles are 90 degrees. So Arelauri, this angle are expected or it's about 45. Because Arquanauri, these diagonals the bisect the corner angles. It means it cut in equal half. So if this is 90 degrees, Arelauri, this must be 45. And then also this one, 45. So these angles are 45 degrees because diagonals bisect corner angles. 
and then remember our AC ile kana le BD because really diagonals are equal so re our AC ile kana le BD so those are the things still already very important and then now what about the area area ya square ile kana le side times side which is the same as side squared let's say the sides k5 because that's our masita square alika so here you can find the area relawari this is the same as 5 squared and then this is 25 units squared so it means it's meter squared and then another thing very important ki the perimeter perimeter ya squared le kana le 4 times s because actually perimeter in oba the distance around the figure in oba distance ya ka monte so her eda these four sides re la re recrea the perimeter so that is why is 4 times s so let's find the perimeter her tseba this side so re la re tlo re fa 4 times 5 and then 4 times 5 is 20 so this is the perimeter So that's all about the square. And then now let's check another type of quadrilateral which is rhombus. So the properties of rhombus the square. All sides are equal. And then another thing or opposite sides are parallel just like the square and then here are now something different from the square right so for the square all corner angles really can are 90 degrees but for rhombus there are something different so for rhombus opposite angles are equal so the angle ja le bana ka fela e di ale ka are la ore this one ele kana le this one and then another thing or a diagonals bisect so this diagonal a bisectally this diagonal and then again this diagonals the bisector at 90 degrees just like the square but remember or in square a diagonals are equal whereby this and this kofela dibedile kan but in this rhombus are now something different so in this rhombus this side ile kana le this side and then this one ile kana le this one so let's say this is a b c d so this means and then let's say this is e so this means a e ile kana le e d and then b e ile kana le e c so in the square diagonals bisect and are equal whereby you will realize or this one this one this one and this one dibedi le kan but for rhombus are now something different and then another thing that is very important or diagonals bisect corner angles just like the square diagonals bisect corner angles even though for the square the corner angles are one over 90 degrees but as for this one they are not 90 degrees but this diagonals bisect so erelawri this diagonal a cutter this angles in equal halves so just the same as this one erelawri this angle and this angle adialeka and the same as this one and this one is they are also equal and then the same here this one and this one they are also the same and then remember always when we say diagonals bisect relawri they share the same midpoint let's say arnali this rhombus and then let's say this angle ke 100 degrees so relawri even this one ke 100 degrees and then it's obvious relawri 
this one must be 80 degrees and then this one must be 80 degrees because that's about the angles the quadrilaterals they add about to 360 degrees so because we say diagonals bisect corner angles relaura decata these angles in equal halves so relaura we can say this angle k 40 degrees the same as this one is 40 and then relaura this one is 50 degrees and then this one is 50 degrees so that is something very important and then now what about the area the area here rhombus is different from the area here the square area here rhombus area half diagonal one times diagonal two let's say really this shape And then let's say this is diagonal one and then let's say this is diagonal two let's say this is a b c and d so let's say this diagonal here a c let's say k 16. so diagonal one here a c k 16 and then let's say diagonal two here b d and then let's say is 10. So relaur with this information, I can find the area. So relaur area is equal to half diagonal one times a diagonal two. So relaur this is half times sixteen times ten, and then you have eighty square units. So relaur this is area. So I can only this one is different from your square. And then, what if question of this rhombus? So, what we know or a rhombus the bisector at 90 degrees. So, let's say about Philo or AC K 16, and then let's say about Philo or bd k12 and then question arrow find the perimeter remember our diagonals bisect so if ac l16 here it have eight and then even here it have eight because that's about this one and this one the other car. so let's say this point in the middle key point e and then because what feel or bd k12 this must be six and then also this one must be six so from there i can draw ya this right angle triangle rubble something like this one so relaure this is 90 degrees and then from there this is point a and then this is point e which is this one and then relaure this is point b this right angle triangle so it's all up to your own but at the end it will create the same thing so from there ae it's eight and then eb it's six so relaure i can easily find this side here ab kashumisha pythagoras theorem so let's use theorem of pythagoras to find ab that's about ab squared elegantly a e squared plus eb squared so I will have a b elegantly root a e squared plus e b squared. So I will have this is the same as a e is eight and then e b is six. So the answer is ten. So I will have from there to find the this side which is ten. And then that's why for a rhombus all sides are equal. So relaure, even this is ten, this is ten, and this is ten. So from there, relaure finding the perimeter gets about P is equal to four times S. So relaure, this is four, and then this is ten, and then four times ten is forty. So this is the perimeter. So that's it about this rhombus. 
and then more nearly another type of a quadrilateral which is a rectangle and then the properties of this rectangle array opposite sides are equal so masaita ulebana ofela alikan so let's say this is a b c and d so it means a b elekanale c d and then it means a c elekanale b d and then another thing or opposite sides are parallel so erela ore this one and this one they are parallel so erela ore a c is parallel to b d and a b is parallel to c d and then another thing or all corner angles equals to 90 degrees just like the square so all corner angles are 90 degrees and then again diagonals bisect diagonals bisect each other but these diagonals hardly bisect at 90 degrees like the square in addition Corey, these diagonals are equal so erlaure bc elegantly ad so from there because diagonals are equal just like the square erlaure this one and this one dear lekan and then also this one and this one so let's say this is point e so erlaure from there we can say ae elegantly ed elegantly be which is also equals to ec so diagonals are bisect and diagonals are equal and so unlike a, a square diagonals bisect corner angles so as for rectangle we have something different so diagonals hardly bisect the corner angles so you can't say this angle elegantly this angle so this is not true this is only true for the square so these are the properties here the rectangle and then now what about the area of this rectangle area elegantly length times breadth so let's say this length k4 and then let's say this breadth k2 so it means area elegantly 4 times 2 and then 4 times 2 is 8 square units square units can already if your sides are in meters meter squared and then if they're in centimeters it is in centimeter squared so this is the area and then now what about the perimeter remember the perimeter in over the distance around this shape so this one plus this one plus this one plus this one, plus this one. so earlier i can say perimeter elegantly length plus length plus breadth plus breadth because certainly this length and this length this breadth and this breadth so from here i can say this is 2l plus 2b because l plus l 2l and then b plus b 2b so from there i can take 2 as a common factor so i have l plus b so p is equal to 2 at l plus b and then from there this is 2 l k4 and then breadth k2 so relaure from there 4 plus 2 k6 and then 2 times 6 k12 so relaure this is the perimeter so the formula here perimeter in simplest way get this one p is equal to 2 at l plus b the perimeter here a rectangle so that's it about the rectangle and then what about this one this one gave parallelogram so the properties the parallelogram theory opposite sides are equal 
masaita u lebana kamuka alikana. So this side and this side alikana because alibana. And then another thing or opposite sides are parallel. So masaita u lebana are parallel. Rela or this one and this one are also parallel. And then in addition, opposite angles are equal. This one and this one are equal. And then another thing, diagonals bisect each other. So these diagonals, the cut are in equal halves. Let's say this is A, B, C, D, and E. So because these diagonals bisect irrelevant, this one, elegantly, this one. And then relaure again this one elegantly this one. So this diagonal is already bisected at 90 degrees. And then another thing or the the diagonals already bisect the corner angles. So it means this angle really can this angle. So be careful on that one. Let's say really this parallelogram whereby this angle gay. 100 degrees and then because this is 100 degrees obviously even this one must be 100 degrees because that's about opposite angles are equal and then what if question array refined these angles finding these angles is very easy because that's about for quadrilaterals the sum of the interior angles the add up to 360 degrees. So, we add these angles. Kaufela and then equate it to 360. So, we add 100 degrees plus x plus 100 degrees plus x is equal to 360 degrees. And then we add 200 degrees plus 2x. We add our like terms. And then equals to 360 degrees. Therefore, I can say 2x is equal to a transposer 200 to the other side. So, generally, 360 degrees minus 200 degrees. So, relaurin 2x is equal to 160 degrees. Therefore, relaurin solving for x, it will divide both sides like 2. Therefore, I can divide both sides like 2 relaure x is equal to 80 degrees but it turns out to only the easiest way whereby i can find the value of x remember already for a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel because opposite sides are parallel relaure if this line and this line the parallel relaure i can take this line as a transversal line Therefore, relaure this angle and this angle, they are co interior angles. And then, that's about co interior angles are supplementary. This means 100 degrees plus x, they must be equal to 180 degrees. The reason key co interior angles. And therefore, solving for x, it will x is equal to 180 degrees minus 100. So, 180 minus 100 is 80 degrees. So, give it your x. What about the area in the perimeter? Let's say, Arnali, this figure. And then, let's say this one is 12 meters. And then, let's say, this one is 10 meters and then let's say in addition really a height so what the height let's say this height what feel like 8 meters remember this height key this distance from top to bottom so what feel is 10 and then now question area find the area and the perimeter I gotta find out the area of this one 
raw area is equals to base times height whereby our base get this one let's say this is a b c and d so our base a b so it'll already can only 12 and then the height get this one which is 8 so 12 times 8 are for 96 square units so this is the area the area is equals to base times height and then what about the perimeter remember our perimeter you the distance around this figure regular for perimeter and you go add this side plus this side plus this side plus this side but remember our for a parallelogram opposite sides are equal so regular even this one are nearly 12 and then even this one are nearly 10 so regular the perimeter is 12 plus 10 plus 12 plus 10 so we add this all sides and then the answer is 44 meters so that's the easiest way or honogria the perimeter in the area and then here nearly a kite let's say this is a b c and d so what you should know about category two pairs of adjacent sides are equal this side so this one and this one are equal and then another thing one pair of opposite angles are equal this angle and this angle are equal this angle and this angle they are not equal so only one pair of opposite angles are equal which is this one and this one another thing or these diagonals they intersect at 90 degrees so these diagonals they intersect they do not bisect each other Rebelore these diagonals they bisect each other they cut in equal halves so they do not bisect each other they only intersect at 90 degrees and then another thing or a longer diagonal bisect a smaller diagonal so this AC a bisector BD meaning a cutter in equal halves so Rebelore if this point is E I can say distance here BE elegantly distance here ED so a longer diagonal bisect a smaller diagonal and then another thing or a diagonal AC bisect angle A so it means this angle and this angle are equal so if we say this is angle 1 and angle 2 or in conclusion I can say angle A1 diagonally angle A2 and then also this longer diagonal a bisector this angle C so or this angle diagonally this angle so if this is angle 1 and this is angle 2 or in conclusion I can say angle C1 diagonally angle C2 so those are the things so you should never say this one and this one are equal as you can see they are not equal very clearly if the diagonals bisect each other so remember already in square and then also in rhombus in rectangle and in parallelogram diagonals bisect each other another thing we can say that they share the same midpoint because diagonals bisect each other but as for this one we can't say midpoint wa de or canal midpoint wa ac so we cannot say that because the diagonals do not bisect each other so these are the properties of a kite and then what about the area area here kite ki half diagonal one times diagonal two so let's say receive our this diagonal here ac kebukai 
So let's say this diagonal here AC K16 and then let's say this diagonal here BD K10. So real out of finding the area it will be half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 and then we'll create the answer which is 80 square units. So if you are distanceable in meters or double meters squared. So that's how we find the area. And then finding the perimeter is easy because perimeter is the distance around this figure. We'll add this distance, we'll add this distance, we'll add this one, and then we'll add this one. So it's about your perimeter. Consider this example. Let's say this is A, a B, C, D, and then let's say this is E. So because this is kite reservoir decreter 90 degrees here. And then let's say we'll fill over the distance here AE is 6. And then let's say we'll fill over distance here EC is 15. And then we'll fill over here ED is 8. Remember or if whatever distance here ED relative to here EB because reservoir a this side and this side are equal. So relative even ED must be eight. So relative from here I can say diagonal BD diagonal is sixteen because eight plus eight so is sixteen, and then diagonal AC relative diagonal fifteen plus 6 which is 21 and then from there you can easily find the area because what's about area is equal to half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 so which is the same as half 16 remember this is 21 and then times 21 and then the answer is 168 square units and then, what if this question here calculate the perimeter? Finding the perimeter allow the first thing first to turn to create this side, this side, this side, and this side. So generally, this situation, all that you can do, we can create a, a right angle triangle. Because this is 90 degrees, and then this is point D, this is point E, and then this is point C. And then remember our this is 15 and then this one 8 so i will already find this side here cd so i show the theorem of pythagoras so i will dc squared elegantly d e squared plus e c squared so from there i can square up both sides so finally d e squared plus E C squared. So on the side here D E eight and then on the side here E C is fifteen. So the answer will give you seventeen. So Relaure gets over this one. So Relaure D C is seventeen. Because this is kite gets over adjacent sides are equal. So Relaure this side elegantly this side so relaur gets about even this one is 17 but it was one we create this side remember this side elegantly this one so relaur i can use another right angle triangle to create that side so i'm gonna create this right angle triangle and then this is 90 degrees this is a this is e and this is D. So this is 6 and this is 8. So relative from there, I'm going to create side AD. So Pythagoras theorem, AD squared is equal to AE squared plus DE squared. From there, relative AD, AE squared plus DE squared.
So the answer is 10. So I will get really this one. And then because we know that this one and this one are equal, I will get this is 10 and then also this one must be 10. So finding the perimeter is going to be very easy now. So I will get finding the perimeter to add this side. I will get 17 plus 17 plus 10 plus 10 and then empower 54 units. So really, this is the answer here yeah, we we'll find at the perimeter. And then what about this question? Let's say we'll fill this angle and then we'll fill this one is 30 degrees and then let's say we'll fill this one is 25 degrees then let's say this is point a b c d and e and then that's about the former 90 degrees because this is kite let's say question area will find all of these angles the easiest way because this is kite a longer diagonal here cd a bisector at these angles Erelauri cut at these angles in equal halves. Erelauri, even this one must also be 30 degrees. And then again, if this is 25 degrees, Erelauri, Erelauri, even this one must also be 25 degrees. And then from there, because Kenali, this right angle triangle, and then Kazabauri, this is 90 degrees and this is 80. Kazabauri, the sum of interior angles add up to 180. So, this is 90, 120. This must be 60 degrees. And then, it would be the same as for this one. Even this one must be what? 60 degrees. Because this is 90, this is 80. So, 90 plus 80 is 120. And then, plus 60 is 80 degrees. And then, what about finding these angles? Finding these angles are really the same thing because this is a right angle triangle. So if this is a right angle triangle and then this is 90 degrees and this is 25, we can easily say, let's say this is angle A1. Angle A1 plus 90 degrees plus 25 degrees, 180 degrees. Therefore, angle A1 is 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 25 and then over 65 degrees so greatly this angle which is 65 degrees and then because greatly this angle which is 65 and then that's about this angle and this angle are equal so even this one must be 65 degrees but you are the same thing Washumisha the sum of the interior angles. So it will the same thing. So we really our angles in this way. And that's it for this kite. And then more than only what we call a trapezium. The special properties of the trapezium are one pair of opposite sides are parallel. So only one pair. This one and this one they are opposite and therefore they are parallel let's say this is a this is b c and d so at our in conclusion we can say a b is parallel to c d but you cannot say a b equal to d c so a b highly kindly c d they are only parallel so that's all about the trapezium. And then what about the area of the trapezium? Let's say DC ki 10 meters. And then let's say a B2 ki 25 meters. And then let's say again Renali a height. So let's say this height is 15. So we're going to find out the area trapezium we need our overly height again so the area trapezium ra is equals to half b1 plus 
and b2 times height b1 and b2 actually are normally like this distance here ab and this distance here dc so finding the area real or globally half and then globally 10 plus 25 and then times height which is 15 and then the answer is 262,5 square units so this is the area and then what about the perimeter finding the perimeter is still the same so finding the perimeter auto adder a b or adder b c or adder c d and then what adder a d so it will create your perimeter so this is if it about the valley this side here b c and then what's the valley this side here a d so you can easily find the perimeter so that's all about the trapezium and that's it for this tutorial.